it's Abby. I'm back with another video and today I will be doing my June TBR. June is probably going to be a pretty good reading month for me because I'm not really doing much. I'm just working and hanging out with friends and I get off work at 6 every day so like what else am I going to do with all my time other than read? So I'm pretty excited and I'm finally out of the reading slump that I fell into in May. So I've got like quite a few books. Some of them are kind of big but I definitely think I can get through all of them. I've already started most of them, but I just know that I will not finish them until June. So yeah, I'm super excited. I think it's going to be a good reading month. And yeah, let's get into it. I'm in a really good mood. I had a lot of caffeine and I've got some eggplant fries in the oven cooking. So let's hope that I finish this video before my eggplant fries are done. The first book I plan to read this month is, oh, upside down, <laughs> is If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Rousseau. I am already halfway done with this book. I honestly might finish it tonight because I'm not really doing anything else and it's an extremely quick read. I will definitely be doing a review of this because I already have a lot of stuff I want to say about it, but this is a story that follows a transgender girl who is moving to a new school where nobody knows about her past. And literally that's pretty much all it's about. It's about her dealing with her past kind of haunting her and the people she meets and she meets a boy and they start to have this relationship and she is worried about the past creeping up and ruining things for her and honestly it just reads like a normal YA girl loves a guy contemporary and that is such a beautiful and important thing that this is just the story of a girl and a boy and yes it, it does incorporate a lot about her past and all of the things that she has to struggle with but it is also just a love story and that is something you don't get a lot when it comes to stories about transgender or other LGBT characters. And another really... My sister is calling me. Can I call you back in a second? I'm filming a video. Okay, love you too, bye. Another really cool thing about this book is that the author is transgender herself and the model on the cover is also transgender. And it just makes you feel a little bit better about the story because it is so easy to mess up these kinds of things when you are not the minority that you're writing about but she is and the character is and the model is and it just all is packaged so wonderfully and it's amazing i'm really excited to finish this the next one i'm hoping to get through is blue lily lily blue by maggie steve otter i've been trying to get through this and for some reason i just can't i think it might be the encroaching final book just like looming there and i just don't want to finish it or i don't know what it is maybe i was burning myself out with this series for a little while but i will get through this. I know that as soon as I open the book, I'm immediately engrossed and I don't want to put it down. It's just right now I was just not in the mood for it. And so I will get to it soon. I'm really enjoying it. I can tell that it's all starting to wrap up. So if I finish this one and immediately need to read The Raven King, that is the one I'll read after this. So that's a little like extra TBR maybe thing is if I finish this and I'm like, I need the next one then I will read The Raven King. Now since June is all summery and contemporary, I know that I need to throw some contemporaries in there. And so I've got Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. I've heard so many good things about it. Everyone is telling me to read this. So this will be the next one I pick up probably after If I Was Your Girl or after Blue Lily Lily Blue. I'm really not sure. I read books at the same time, so I'm just going to juggle them all. But I kind of just want to jump into this. I know it's going to be awesome. I love books that involve female friendships. They're so important and wonderful, and I can't wait to read it. And yeah, I've literally never heard a bad thing about this book, so... And following that up with more summary contemporaries, there's The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. I don't know if I'll read these back to back. I'll probably space them out, like one at the beginning of the month, one at the end, because they're summary contemporaries. I don't want them to blend together, but I'm excited. Everyone seems to be really enjoying this super summary super just, I haven't read anything like this in such a long time, and I'm kind of ready to get back into it, you know, your, your good old love stories, and I can tell that's what this is going to be about. All I know is that it's a politician's daughter, and she becomes a dog walker, and there's some scandal with her dad, and that just sounds totally up my alley. I'm excited. So I'll let you know how this one goes. The next two are kind of ones that have spilled over from my last TBR because I didn't end up reading them but I still really want to get to them, and that is Etiquette and Espionage by Gail Carriage. This book was really fun. I'm about halfway through, so I'm ready to just get back into it. 
I want to read the rest of the series because it is really, really fun. I feel like I'm watching a movie when I'm reading this, and it's just, like, literally jumping into a completely new world, and I love that aspect of it. So I'm excited to finish this one up. I've talked about it several times, so I'm not going to recap it too much, but steampunky, etc. And, of course, there is The Diviners by Libba Bray. I keep talking about wanting to read this so badly, and then the size just intimidates me so much. So I'm just going to get to it. I'll read it slowly if I have to, but I feel like I'll want to read it all in one kind of collective time period. So I don't really know what I'm going to do, but I'm pretty excited about it because I do really, really, really want to read this book. And then for a new release that I'm expecting in June that I want to read, that is You Know Me Well by David Levithan and Nina LaCour. I have been waiting for this book. This was in my most anticipated books of 2016. I can't wait. I love David Levithan. I love Nina LaCour. I love LGBT characters, so I am just ready for it. So yeah, that is the last book that I'll probably read because I think it comes out sometime mid-June. Not really sure, but I'm getting it as soon as it's out. So yeah. So that is my June TBR. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.